What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, tea room. Neek stepmom caught cheating in the worst way. Dear hairstylist seeking help after. Let's get it. Oh, friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad, Ski. My bad, Ski. And hairstylist is asking for help to put her nanny behind bars. She huh? states, my heart is broken. This is my nanny that I trusted with my baby every single day. I talked about how good she was with him all the time. Then she goes into detail on what occurred in these videos that she shared on Instagram. Now I'm not gonna post them here, but you guys can head over to mm. her page on Instagram if you wanna see what happened, but it That's completely pissed me off. But it appears that she has fled Atlanta and is in Miami right now trying to head back to brazil hopefully they catch child i did not watch that video i can't watch nothing with old people and children i'm cool sure because she was completely out of line but let's move on to this next topic with neek's mom cindy and her ex-girlfriend janae now you guys know because i reported a few months ago that cindy Bro. is single oh. now that they're eight Teen year relationship was broken off after Cindy caught her cheating with her friend. So Miss Cindy posted up a video going into further detail on how she caught Janae and that friend in Kaiser's bed. And no, Kaiser was not there when this went down. The friend spent the night and she offered to let the friend sleep in Kaiser's room. Do you, Kaiser, and your kids still keep in contact with your ex? No, absolutely not. Um, which is very, very unfortunate because my ex was family. Like, I would have never thought. When I say... <laughs> That's terrible that the, the kids can't even talk to her neither. Like, you just tossed 18 years in the trash. Family, I mean, like, real family, like... Okay, um, okay, um, did you, hold on guys, mm. I know it, this is what was deleted, <laughs> um, wait, Nick, turn the camera off for one second. Wait, Nick, turn the camera off for one second. I need tissue. This is wrong. Okay, sorry guys. Um, these questions can get a bit. This is the part we missed, y'all. Damn. I know she hurt, because 18 years, like you helped me raise my kids and just everything, and you just, it, oh my God. Emotional. Oh, I can second. imagine. All right, next question is. <sighs> um, my ex friend, who was my friend for over thirteen for thirteen years, um, she said, and it, I'm not the type of person to let people spend a night in my house at all. So I don't know where this come from. Like I said, things happen. Mm. You don't know why. It just, it just do. Well, she told me. She said, I. Um, she stayed like 45 minutes away. She didn't want to drive home that night. We were drinking. We went to a party. Can I stay the night at your house? Um, and I said, yes, because of course, if anything happened, why are you going home? That'd be my fault. You know, go in my grandbaby's room, go to sleep. True. And when you wake up in the morning, just let yourself out. So, um, yeah, I was in a bed sleep. I know that she asked to smoke with my girlfriend that night. I told my girlfriend that they went out to smoke my ex and I was like, it's time to come to bed because I was really tired. It was four o'clock in the morning. We went to bed. I'm the type of person that when I wake up, because I've been in a relationship for so long that I look for that person when I wake up. Like if I don't feel her, their legs touching me or their arm or something, I immediately jump up and I jumped up out of my sleep and was like, where are you? So I jumped out of bed because I couldn't find them and my ex, and when I walked out the room, I'm like, it's, I saw my grandson's room closed, but I was like, nah, 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 nah. There's no way my ex would be in that room. So it's I, like, ain't no way you're going to play with me like that. 18 years, y'all. I started to walk around the house calling her name. I'm like, where are you? And so, bam, I walk back to the door and I see the lights come on. 
Mind you, that TV in that room never ever goes off. So when I seen the TV off, all the lights off, and the next thing you know, the TV pops on. That's what happened, the TV light pop on. I'm like, wait a minute. So I get to the door and I'm just like taking deep breaths and I slowly twist the door and I open it. Oh yeah, story time coming soon. So that's how I caught my ex cheating. I walked in on it. Uh, is your ex- Walking in on it is crazy. In a relationship with your friend now, yes. They are in a relationship now. So previously I reported that Jessica and Reed were back together and Jessica's sister wasn't too happy. And uh, both of those things, when we was watching the video, y'all, those were both of the things I missed. <laughs> about them rekindling their relationship, especially since she went to California and drove 40 hours back with her sister. Now, since then, her sister has had a lot to say and finally Jessica had enough. So she went on to post this, ready to expose um, everything. If only y'all knew. Like how she said, y'all don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You only see what I post on social media, whether it's me and Reed's relationship, whether it's whatever the fuck I got going on, y'all see what I want y'all to see, but y'all don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But like I said, um, and the whole like I woke up and blocked her on everything, that is not true. I didn't just wake up and block her on everything. That is not true. Um, she blocked me on Instagram and TikTok and I blocked her number and she knows. I don't have to go to the internet and say why, but she knows why I blocked her number. Um, and let that be that. Because if I really genuinely say what I wanted to say, and show you guys, show you guys the receipts on what I have, then mm -hmm, y'all seen that. The receipts on what I had, then y'all would be like, oh shit, damn. Well, she ain't say all this, or the, 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 whoever ain't say all this. Cause no, they're not, they're gonna go to the internet and victimize themselves and just whatever the fuck. Wait, is this the old video of what happened or is this now? Uh, anyway, I'm on here to tell y'all, um, Y'all, <laughs> <coughs> baby, that plug is struggling on that TV over there. This is how my daughter room look right now. Cause I tried to put the TV over in the corner so she can look at it with a slant. And she likes to look at it straight ahead. So not a core pulling, but I don't hide cores in every room. Cause them kids, y'all not going to ever see the kids room and they don't give a damn. Anyway, I'm on here to tell y'all, um, I love you guys, and honestly, don't believe everything that you see really in her court. Now, I let her go to the internet, I let her get what she want out, um, I let her get what the fuck she want out, and I'm not gonna tell anybody's business, but like I said, the ball is in her court, so if she wants to go that way, then we can't, but... I'm not going to say I'm sparing her, but uh, that's what it's giving. I'm definitely doing that. Huh? And I feel like when you have such... Wait, wait, wait. So she's flipping on her sister who basically drove 40 hours with her? Is that what we... Is that... Is that... Is that, is that, is that what's going on right now? Oh, hell no. That's why you can't do shit for people. Such a big heart and you do good by people, people really like fucking play with you. And that's all like, that's all I really gotta say. Um, but yeah, period. Okay, so guys. then Jessica's sister had a response of her own and this is what she had to say about the situation. Uh, first speak on her trying to threaten me. Um, you know, you said you love me this and that at the end of your life, but then you're going to say, well, the ball is in my court and basically threatening me. Um, that is just really weird for you to even try to basically say, oh, well, it depends on me and what I do. And then if not, then you're going to air everything out like I've done something or, um, you know, my business is something to be aired out. And knowing she has a bigger platform than me, and then saying like, you know, like little slick stuff like that, knowing that people are going to text me and bash me. That was very weird of you. Number one. 
And then number two, um, she said she was a, a human money bank, apparently. Well, first of all, I just want to get something clear. When we, So when we all got this apartment, um, she was expected to pay rent. I, I mean, I don't know what she thought she was going to do, be living here for free or I was going to pay for everything or whatever. No, when you get an apartment with somebody, you have to pay bills just like everything. Um, I said everything, everybody else. And um, when I came to pick Jessica up, um, we got the apartment literally the same, probably three or four days after we picked Jessica up from um, California. So that was very fast. And I am not no rich person. Like I work, yes, but I'm a college student. I have to pay for tuition. I have a kid. I have my own life. Damn, and I yeah, have she bills. got a lot to do. And, you know, everyone knows when you're getting an apartment and stuff, that is something you save for, you know, three Some or four people. months in advance. You just don't hop up one day and go get an apartment. <laughs> so when we got this apartment, you know, I took everything I had just to move, in, move into this apartment and she paid for whatever we agreed she paid for and we paid for um whatever else uh we paid for the deposit to move in and she paid for furniture and that was the agreement because jessica has a little bit more money than me or um yeah she had a little bit more money than me so we agreed she paid for the furniture and we paid for the pay for the deposit to move in and that was it and then while living here, um, you know, like she will offer to like buy me food and buy or or she would text my uh, my boyfriend and ask, hey, like, are you hungry? Do you want food and stuff? And of course, if she's offering to buy us food, why wouldn't we accept the food? Like, that's weird. So then the only thing I've asked Jessica for was a phone because she had went and got herself a new phone and my phone was broken. So I asked her, I was like, hey, sis, like, can you um, help like get me a phone? And I even have messages um, saying that, you know, if you want, we can even go half on the phone. But that's really the only thing I've ever asked. Just I can't believe just let him fuck with her again. LOL. He only back because she's uh, hello. Saw she was getting a bag, literally. Before. Um. And, you know, she told me that she was going to get me the phone and then she changed her mind because she said she had to pay bills, which is understandable because I had the messages of me saying, yeah, like I understand. And then Dub did a video responding to Chris and his baby mama. What happened with his baby mama? Y'all, y'all about to have me working all night and that's fine. <laughs> One day I went on TikTok and I saw her. I just like Mel to see the daylight, but I can work all night. Mel. And she... She went to I ain't gonna lie, this long-winded, though. I don't even care. Let's speed this up. Louis Vuitton and spent three, four thousand dollars on on um on on Mel Mel buying him stuff. So then I texted her. I was like, oh, well, you couldn't get me the phone, but you can go spend money on a dude. And I Yo, y'all gotta stop counting your cousins and your sisters and your everybody's pockets. Got to stop doing that. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I will literally tell you, if you ask me for <clears throat> $20, I will literally be like, no, no. And I will go drop 5000 on a computer. Okay. I don't do the designer shit. I don't want it. I will go drop 5000 in your face on a computer. <laughs> Computers and house stuff is my little kryptonite. Y'all told y'all no, I ain't no designer hoe. I could care less for that designer. But it's the principle. If you want something from me, you got to work for it. Simple and plain. Now, see, one thing about giving a person $20, they think you could give it all the time. They think you fishing in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. I don't even like fishing. I don't even know how to use a fishing rod in this mama. You know what I'm saying? I just need you to, you know, yeah, get your own dub. Obviously, y'all, it's her money at the end of the day, and it doesn't matter. I was just trying to figure out, like, what was going on with that. But then, yes, eventually she ended up going to get me the phone on Mother's Day, and that was really it. I've never 
ask Jessica to pay any bills for me. I never asked her to do anything. You know, when when um when um rent came around, when the light bill was due, when everything was due, we all came together and we paid the rent. And she did pay a little bit more in rent because she had the master uh, bedroom and bathroom. And if you see the room that we was in, me and my boyfriend, it was uh, the literally the smallest room in the house. And literally me and Jessica, we literally fought over having the master bedroom because I was telling Jessica, hey, like it's two of us and we should get the master bedroom. But she insisted on having the master bedroom. So I told her, OK, well, if you want it, then you just want to pay extra for it. And she agreed to it. And if she didn't want to pay a little extra for the room, then she just shouldn't have moved in with me. And that was really it. That's all she had to say. But to go on live and say that um, you are a money bank and people are using you and all this, that is just so ridiculous. And I feel like it's it's the people around her that tells her those things, you know, just because they don't like No, it. it's the people around her that's using her and she's not realizing it's them. Okay. Me, like, for example, my family, they don't like me because of a lot of things that has happened. And they've done really shisty things towards me. And I basically tell them how I feel. And I don't take BS from none of them. And then, but those are the same people that she's back around. And then Jessica likes to hear that I'm jealous of her. Jessica likes to hear that um, she has more money than me and I'm trying to use her. Like Jessica likes to hear those things from, from those people. But those are the same people that did her dirty and is going to for real be using her, you know? So I know she didn't speak on this part about our mom, but I'm going to speak on it. And that's the only thing I'm going to speak on. Um, and then another thing too, oh my you know, God, I kind of peaked because after she left this apartment, we were good and we were talking still. We, I, you know, she would text me. We we're good. You know, even though I was upset about uh, certain things, I'm not going to say what, but I was upset about certain things. Um, we were still talking. We were good. And then, um, when, when she blocked me on everything and Jessica, just like Jessica is saying to y'all that I know why she blocked me. Jessica knows what happened and why I got upset, but I'm not going to say it. If she's not, then I'm not. But Jessica know why I blocked her and she knows why I got mad at her. And um, literally two or three days after I found out that they were going on a cruise together and they've been talking. So you're telling me while you were living here, while I was still talking to you when you moved into your new apartment, when you were here, basically you were behind my back talking to Tasha, our mom, when I told you why I don't want, you know, I don't want to be affiliated with that stuff. And here's the thing. I Be behind my back talking to mom? I'm not trying to be controlling and tell her who she can talk to and, you know, um, you know, yeah, just being controlling, telling her who she can and cannot have a relationship with. But for me and my safety and for my sanity, I don't want to be affiliated with no one that has anything to do with my mother, you know? I don't want nothing to do with, I don't want nothing to, I don't want nothing to do with my mom. So if I tell you, hey, Jessica, you know, I don't want to be affiliated with her or nothing like that. Then why were you here talking to her behind my back? Why were you, you know? Why no, were you this she's entitled. She's very entitled. Y'all planning stuff together, <clears throat> knowing that you were still talking to me. And then you were going telling this woman my business that I haven't talked to in over eight years. And just to know the reason why I don't talk to my mother. They all know why. But I'm not going to say it, you know, unless she wants to come on here and air stuff out. Then I'll say it. But if she don't, then she don't. You know, but Jessica knows why. So for you to do that, that was just really weird of you. You know, if you knew your purpose coming back here was to have a, a, a relationship with her, why you just didn't have her come pick you up from California? Why waste my time coming to get you? I literally left my daughter here for three days, you know, just to come get you. It was my birthday. I had clinicals that day for school and I dropped everything to come get you. So so ultimately, if you knew you wanted a relationship with our mom, then why you just didn't have her come pick you up? That's simple. And just literally leave me out of it. Literally leave me out of it. But no, you went around telling people my business and everything. Like, that's just weird. And, okay, I would have been pissed off about her telling my business, but <clears throat> outside of that, like, you can't control everything. It seemed like she was trying to control stuff. And, and, and you're supposed to be my sister. I don't want to help you. None of those people did but me. But then, yet yeah, you're here county favors telling that you were a human bank living here and you were uncomfortable and things wasn't fair. Da, 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 da. Knowing that we talked about everything before we even moved into this apartment. So how dare you even say something like that? So now after they both exposed each other's business on the Internet, they then went on the Internet together and made amends. A lot of misunderstandings, I would say. A lot of the matter of fact. And it's okay, just at the time we, heard we were upset at each other and we didn't talk about it. <clears throat> but since we talk, we're good now. And I was the bigger person, and I did text my sister, though. And I wanted to squish things. And yeah, you know, and about the 40 hours, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I did it because I cared about my sister, and I do love my sister. That's why I went to go get her. Um, 
you know, and that's really it. And I am happy for her and Reed, you know, whatever my sister does, I'm down for it. So it is what it is. A lot of people say I'm fine. Oh. Yeah, they just, yeah, I mean, I can understand though. We were beefing, you know, hard down. So as we talking about that, look at this. Girl, trying to act like he all into her. You needed a bag. And when he get the bag, he's out of there. Again. Because why did he have to, why did, why did he leave the first time? Crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.